this year again, you made a big effort on purpose for Tefaf. So all the story is related to Van Gogh in Paris, right? Yes, yes. And so if you remember two years ago when you interviewed me, we had a beautiful 1887 floral, which Van Gogh painted in Paris. And you sold it? And we sold it on the second day of the fair. Okay. Uh, and so this year we were very fortunate to find an 1886 Paris period Van Gogh. Uh, and so we decided to build an entire show around the painting. Okay. You know, Van Gogh had a very short career, only 10 years. And for the first five, he painted with a lot of dark grays and browns, the Dutch period work. But then in 86, he goes to Paris to live with his brother, Theo, who was an art dealer. And uh, he sees the Impressionists. But 1886 was such a perfect time to come to Paris because the Impressionists were already now being accepted, but the Pointillists mm -hmm. were beginning to show. And so in the 1886 eighth and final Impressionist exhibition, which we know he saw, he saw Seurat's Grand Jacques, he saw Signac. And so... And you have some of them here. And so we have two Pointillist works, one very rare by Charles Angrand, there are only 11 known pointillist works of, of his, and it's a park scene with a woman with a red parasol, just like the Van Gogh. Ah. And Van Gogh uh, asked Andrand if uh, they could exchange paintings. So we have all of the Impressionists. We also have Toulouse-Lautrec, who studied with Van Gogh in Coleman's studio and became a friend of Van Gogh. Um, and. This is a small promenade in the art history, right? Yes, but it was a crucial period for Van Gogh because he, he, he became much more colorful, uh, the paintings were filled with light, and then we have this absolute masterpiece, uh, the Degas Three Dancers in Yellow Skirts from 1891. This is particularly thrilling, it has not been on the market for 50 years, um, and so when Van Gogh came to Paris in 86, he was influenced by Degas. Five years later, Degas is living in Montmartre, and he's collecting Gauguin and Van Gogh, and now he's influenced by the colors of Van Gogh. So this is a later work. It's very different than the earlier ballet pieces, which are very tight and very naturalist in color. And if you look closely, you will see that a lot of the painting he painted with his thumb. Perhaps uh, wow. thinking of Titian, um, but the colors are electric. But, and, and the texture is very special. Is it yeah. in good condition? It's in perfect condition. Um, it's been exhibited all over the world uh, when it was part of Dr. Hammer's collection. And uh, even though it was painted in the end of the 19th century, it's really a 20th century painting. It's such a modern painting. Um, and so we're, we're thrilled. We always try to do thematic exhibitions here at TAFEF and this year I think it's one of our best yet. Merci. Merci.